Hey everybody, Michael Snyder here, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is March 20th, and today we're going to take a look at yet another atmospheric river bearing down on the Pacific Northwest. We'll look at what kind of precip we can get out of this. We'll also take a look on into the next few days. It looks like we might get a warm day on Tuesday. We'll see if that extends into any other days next week. You can see this cold air pouring out over the Pacific Ocean here, allowing this atmospheric river to take shape over us, kind of apparent low steering, this subtropical moisture over the region. Still sunny here in eastern Washington. Looking at the infrared satellite imagery here, weak system moving through Southern California. Got some severe weather coming up for areas of Texas and then pushing on east through Louisiana, Mississippi on in through Tuesday. We'll take a brief look at that as well. So jumping right into things here, check out this red fire danger, fire hazard areas out here across a lot of Tornado Alley down through Texas, New Mexico, all the way back into Arizona. Some high wind warnings and wind advisories as the system's going to be sliding through here and then eventually bring severe weather out over Texas on Monday and then pushing off east Tuesday and Wednesday. So checking out that tornado threat down there through Texas. So anybody with any concerns down there, have a heads up on this. There's a chance of significant tornadoes tomorrow in Texas. This threat is going to push off through Louisiana and Mississippi on Tuesday. You can see that enhanced risk of severe weather there. And as we go on into day three outlook here, you can see moderate risk on day three. It's fairly rare. This is a pretty significant event. Looks like it's ramping up here. Potential for some significant tornadoes out there. If you have any concerns out there near Louisiana, uh, Mississippi, New Orleans, heads up for this event rolling through there. This is going to be potentially pretty nasty here. And here goes uh, the severe weather threat expected Monday through portions of Texas here. You know, just just trying to give general awareness. I know people have family members down there that watch this channel. And so just a heads up there for that tornado threat. Some even strong tornadoes going on through there. Some large hail and some flash flooding. Always be aware of that. Flooding is the number one killer during severe weather events. And this is pushing off east for Tuesday. You can see that moderate risk kind of across Mississippi here on back into it towards Louisiana. So just have a heads up there if you have any interest down in that area. Back to the Pacific Northwest here, you can see our next atmospheric river is shaping up here. This one's got a pretty good fetch with it too. And as we put this into motion, you can see this really just impact Washington and Oregon here. And then it starts to push up towards British Columbia as the parent low swings up there, but it leaves us in a fairly you know, it brings some pretty good precipitation amounts. We'll look at that here in a minute. And then you'll notice we get a little bit of a ridging building over Tuesday. We might get a warm day on Tuesday before yet another system, kind of a weak system slides through on Wednesday and ends our little warm one day warm spell there. But yeah, that's a pretty good atmospheric river coming up here, especially for March. This is becoming the time of year where we really stop getting these heavy precipitation events. So any time now that we're going to cut off these atmospheric rivers here as we get on into April. And this is looking at the NAM 3KM. You can see that atmospheric river starting to bear down on us tonight into tomorrow morning and then push off north into British Columbia for a potentially warm day on Tuesday. And then we'll see how Wednesday lines up here. Then it looks like a weak system is going to roll through there and chop down our temperatures a bit on Wednesday. So looking at precipitation totals here, here comes the European. You can see the coastal range getting pretty good. Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Cascades getting a pretty good dousing out of this. This is through Tuesday morning here. Then you can see the next week system move through Wednesday and just add to those totals a little bit. We can see generally the southern portion of Oregon remains fairly precipitation free. Light amounts of eastern Washington, east slopes of the Cascades. As these atmospheric rivers are pretty low lying, these are generally below 10,000 feet, and the terrain usually rings these out pretty good. That's why the eastern portions don't get a lot of precip with these atmospheric rivers. So, looking at Tuesday, here's the high temperatures what we're supposed to get. Check out eastern Washington. You might get some 70s there, some 70s maybe down the southern Willamette Valley. A pretty warm day here, eastern slopes of the Cascades and Oregon there, too. So, at least one nice day coming up here. If we back this up and look at the highs on Monday, tomorrow, you can see that we're pretty chilly through here through western Washington and Oregon. It warms up a little bit there through eastern Washington. And backing up through till today, you can see they do, you know, it's sunny over there right now. It's not a bad day for eastern Washington. The high clouds will be moving in during the day today. You see the chilly temperatures through the Cascade areas, though, and the backcountry. Now we're looking at the GFS here. This is this morning's run. Let's F5 so we have the most recent data loaded here. You can see this atmospheric river bearing down on us for tomorrow. Then 
the nice day on Tuesday before that weak system kind of brings the clouds and light precept back through Wednesday. And then as we go into the weekend, there's going to be some troughing out over the ocean here. And if it lines up right, we could get a couple decent days going through this weekend. But the systems aren't far away. So we're going to have to watch the development of these weak systems as they come through here. Are they going to ruin our weekend nice weather coming up through next week or you know how is this going to develop and looks like a system's trying to develop down there off the california coast into next weekend as well and this is the european atmospheric river good agreement there the nice day tuesday possibly hopefully that doesn't get ruined by any you know advancement of this front that looks like it's going to move through on wednesday right there then we get Maybe another nice day Thursday or Friday, too, as this troughing is developing out here, though it depends on the development of the system rolling through. And we back up a little bit here. You can see that system going through on Monday through Texas. Some pretty good rains through eastern Texas, too. Got to watch out for this flash flooding as it moves through Louisiana and Mississippi here as the storm finally ejects and brings another round of severe weather probably towards the east coast, the southeast there on Wednesday before it exits the area. And probably gets actually bring some maybe some severe weather down through florida on thursday as well but anyway let's look a little bit more at the upper level heights for the pacific northwest that ridge build and this is kind of why we get that nice day on tuesday week system moves through wednesday and this is the most recent gfs let's upload that a little bit more here and we'll pull back towards you see this trophy and start to develop here. And this could give us some nice days this weekend. This is kind of what I'm holding out for uh, next weekend coming up here. So we'll see how these systems develop and see how the storm system develops down here near California. Now here is last night's European run. This one's going to go about 360 hours out. So we'll see this ridge build for Tuesday. Weak system slides by Wednesday. Then maybe this trophy is far enough away. It'll give us a decent day on uh, maybe Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. One of those days will be nice if we're lucky before the next system starts to move in here as we get troughing, transient ridge, then more troughing and pretty chilly conditions looking like they're coming back into next week. And then you can see the troughing continue on into the extended over the Gulf of Alaska. So the La Nina spring, never far off here. You can see it's tough to get nice days during a La Nina spring. We tend to be much cooler than normal during these La Nina springs. And you know, if it was an El Nino year, the springs tend to be a little bit warmer than normal, for example. Now, here's that extent of looking at the surface. This would be surface pressure. As you can see, this high pressure kind of hang out for us on Tuesday with a little bit of a system move through Wednesday. It's going to cool us down. Now, we might get a nice day on Thursday or Friday here to develop, depending again on how the system develops. So maybe it'll be a nice weekend next weekend. That's really all the hope we have right now for nice weather before this troughing is obviously going here. Transient ridge, then more troughing on the extended here as we get way off into fantasy land. But checking out, you can see it here on the European, the daily high low temperatures. You see Tuesday shaping up to be a nice day. Maybe we'll even get up to the mid 60s in Seattle, feel nice and warm out there. We can see that really chilly air hanging on here through Sunday and Monday for us here in Seattle. Then we drop down back towards normal on into the extent. It shows one of these days might be nicer out into the future though, Friday or Saturday, maybe we'll get into the mid 50s, depending on that trough position. Checking out wind potential on into the future. You can see it's kind of cut back on the potential for wind storms in the future as well. Just a little bit of breezy conditions with this frontal system moving through into tomorrow. And then we're generally pretty, you know, it looks like we're pretty safe as far as windstorm development. But at that troughing off into the future, that can change quickly. So we'll watch that for any potential windstorm coming in. See this precipitation coming in through here on in through Monday afternoon. This is 24 hour totals for Seattle. Then we can kind of get a break that weak system moves through here on wednesday evening you can see it there then we might get another lull here on into next week and here crossing our fingers before we go back to an active pattern on into next week here's a national blend of models here too you can see it highlights that warm day tuesday maybe one of these days in the weekend will be good depending on the trough position of course and mostly average temperatures going on into the future it cools back down again on into next week though so yeah, watch for this atmospheric river coming in here. Really, flooding concerns are probably going to be fairly minimal. The, the precip mounts are good along the coastal range, but not unlike anything they're not used to. 
And then we'll deal with uh, that nice day on Tuesday. So enjoy that weather on Tuesday. Maybe if you have it off or you can get the day off, I highly recommend it. It's a pretty rare event during these La Nina Springs. So you can see this cold air pouring out over the Gulf of Alaska. And it looks like that troughing is going to return past next week and into next week. The model has been pretty good agreement with that. So... Yeah, enjoy today. You'll probably get an, a decent day today before the rain returns on in through this evening and tonight. And then Monday will be pretty rainy. And then Tuesday looks like that good day. And then uh, another system going through Wednesday. So hope you guys are enjoying the weather. If you guys have any comments or concerns, leave them below. And I was going to go out and chase this event, but it, it doesn't look optimal. And I, I messed up my schedule at work, so I couldn't chase the following day that pushed further east. So I'm probably going to sit this one out I don't love the system as far as storm chasing potential. The storms are going to be fast moving, probably not that photogenic. And I would go probably if I could chase the Tuesday system, but I messed up my schedule there, like I said. And yeah, I'm trying to save my, my enthusiasm for April, May, and June when the chasing and the photogenic nature of the storms out there in Tornado Alley get better. I'm probably going to live stream some of those events too, so hopefully you guys will like that. I did go out and I was going to live stream yesterday if the convergence zone was a little bit better and it did do that thunderstorm out towards the west on Kitsap Peninsula. But that was really the only thunderstorm I saw yesterday, even though we had some pretty good convergence zone rains up through the North Puget Sound. It just kind of hung out there for a while and briefly swept through the Puget Sound, uh, the southern Puget Sound, but it didn't bring too much rain down here. It was actually kind of a nicer day. We had some sun breaks and whatnot. I know that some of the areas further north up towards Bellingham, even Whatcom, Skagit County had some nice sun breaks too. As that convergence zone just kind of hung out there through a lot of Snohomish County and really brought some pretty good rain totals during the day yesterday. So uh, looking for something to chase. I'll probably be doing dust devils this spring too. I'll probably do some live stream on those are actually really fun. And maybe I'll get some other people to go out there and start doing some dust devil chases also. Maybe it'll uh, it spawned some interest in that. So, yeah, we'll keep watching this troughing setup. There's potential for windstorm. We're still in windstorm season through about April, generally, through usually mid-April. And these atmospheric rivers should be calming down here as we go into spring as well. So, these, you know, it, this is a pretty late-season atmospheric river rolling in through here, even though it's not going to bring huge amounts of rain to Seattle. It should bring over a half an inch to a lot of the areas and much more for the higher terrain, of course, of the coastal ranges. So... Hope you guys are having a good day. Get out there and enjoy that weather before the rain comes in this evening and tomorrow. Then enjoy that day Tuesday. And we'll do this again either tomorrow or the next day. And I will talk to you guys then.